What are you guys doing? You guys are being naughty. Naughty, naughty, naughty. <laughs> well, today we're moving the baby goats to the chicken pen because, well, they're not getting along very well. I was sitting in our sunroom the other night and just in time to see mama just rolling Bonnie on the ground and she's a half fainting goat so she's you know fainted and they lock up and they can't move and she's just getting rammed and rammed and rammed and rolled and rolled and rolled that escalated quickly I mean that really got out of hand fast it jumped up a notch it did didn't it so unfortunately we got to move them somewhere else until we can find other living quarters for them also that big storm I didn't go out unscathed as much as I thought I did. We actually got a big tree that took out a fence back here. We'll go look at that too. You guys are naughty. Naughty, 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 naughty. You guys ready to go to a new spot? We won't be harassed. We'll actually take uh, their little teeter-totter too so they have something to play on. But... Let's go check out this storm damage. We'll wind up moving this down there too for them. Yeah. So they have somewhere to sit. Yeah. Where are you gonna that? Outside. What? Yeah, we had a giant section of this tree right here go down. So we're actually gonna leave this up here. Uh, I'm gonna let the goats climb up on it. Figured. Be a nice little treat for them. All right, stop the video for a second. I forgot to tell you the backstory to that big branch falling. Well, it was a Friday night. <clears throat> As you heard, I was in the sunroom, uh, which is this right here. I was sitting on the couch. My wife and kids went to a friend's birthday party. Uh, I wasn't feeling very well, so I stayed home, relaxed on this couch, and I hear the forest. What sounded like the forest was just opening up um, if you guys ever heard like cattle going through a, a thick woods, it's exactly what it sounded like. And I was freaking out because I don't have any cattle. So I went like instant puppy through a screen door. Went downstairs, grabbed some uh, freedom sticks or a freedom stick. And you better believe I was patrolling this whole area up here looking for whatever was causing this sound <laughs> so i go from there to my storage running up here pinpointing where this is crashing and it's still crashing down this wasn't a big explosion uh, uh fast fall this was a uh crunch doosh, like just uh, a very slow process and it sounded like i had some kind of huge cow or something back there and i had no idea what I was gonna run into. So back to the story, I am up there with a freedom stick, flashlight, uh, like I'm going through a uh, Fallujah or something like that. So what it was, well, I didn't even notice what it was because it's so thick and uh, overgrown up there. What happened is that tree fell down as you guys see, but I didn't notice it until I had, um, this uh something was raining on me like a drip and i was like what is and i looked up and it was the cracked tree busted and all the glucose from the tree was running out and dripping on top of me oh my god you thought i looked up and saw predator above me i about freaked out when that drip hit me i was like whatever it is it's drooling on me right now but all right I figured I'd had to tell you that funny part of the story. Back to moving these goats. It's uh, stable enough where I don't have to worry about it falling on anybody, but the fence back here, oh man, it's thick. You can tell. Ooh. We'll let the goats eat on this too. But the fence, it didn't make it out very well. It crushed the fence, so I'll have to uh... I'll have to uh, get that all chopped up and off the fence and see if that fence is salvageable. I hope it is. I'll put a couple T-posts in there. It'll hold water. 
until I can get it fixed. All right. <clears throat> you boys got a plan on how we're gonna get these goats down? Let them out. Let them out. Let the baby ones out. Whew. Oh man, it is hot and humid out here today. So we have a nice little chicken run area. Actually, the hawk and owl situation we've had has actually put a big dent on our chickens down there. And we only have a dozen chickens. So they have probably, you know, a quarter of an acre, uh, maybe a little less to run in. So these goats, they're gonna have plenty of room in the new chicken pen that we have down there because the chickens, they've got too much as it is. So. That guy, he moved in a while ago. That rooster, he actually flew into the fencing with electric netting to uh, stay away from predators, which was pretty smart on his part. And uh, when I took the fencing down, he stayed in that area for like three or four days and finally flew into the goat area. He wanted to be a put the goat, so I don't think he thinks he's a goat, but I can't get him to live with the regular chickens. Oh my God, who the hell cares? I don't think they're going to follow us. Yeah. Come on. Nope, come on. I know, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Well, this has been a little tougher than I thought it was going to be. So, uh, I'm going to have to pick them up and take them down there. And I can't hold the camera at the same time. Help me. Help me. I can't. I'm stuck in this place. Here you go. Here's your buddy. Let me get this thing off your neck. All that's left now is I gotta set some feeders up. We should be good to go. So we're just gonna screw these feeders real quick. We'll install this on the side of the chicken coop. It'll work good. I don't know if we're gonna give those guys away, if we're gonna sell them rehome them but they've got to go somewhere because they can't live in the chicken coop forever but we might be done with chickens too so who knows all right let's go get this installed oh we're gonna have to get another can put feed in aren't we yep If I remember correctly, chickens can eat goat feed, but goats can't eat chicken feed. So we gotta remember that since we got these goats in here. Uh, the chickens do have a feeder that will probably wind up moving inside. We actually will move them inside. So uh, the goats don't eat the chicken feed all up. Oh, that's a good spot to put this, bud. What do you think? Hmm. Would be a good spot to put all these things. Huh. We want it accessible, but we don't want it to get rained on. Shoot. Guess we'll just put it right here, huh? Works yep. good as any? Yeah. You uh have a preference on the height where it should be at? Probably be a little lower. A little lower? Yeah. Uh oh. I miscalculated the distance between these two boards. It's not gonna fit on there just right. We're gonna have to do uh that good enough. So what do you think? Like Yeah there. Right there? Mm-hmm. Alright Jaden, what looks level? Um, 
Um, that look level? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Good enough for the girls we go with, right? Um. Helps if I use the correct size Phillips head tip for these screws, but... Oh, a little ugga ugga. Did I mention that it's hot? Thank you, cameraman. Look, do you guys see this? Yeah, potatoes are growing. We got sweet potatoes growing in here in our compost bin. Mama would be happy about that. Everybody's asking about these chicken feeders, and they're called Over Easy Water and Feeder. These things work amazing. We're gonna stick that one inside and uh, so the goats don't get to it. Ready? Can you grab that on your own, bud? Perfect, like a glove, huh? Ooh, strong boy. Yeah, we'll just stick it right, right there. You don't have to put it all the way underneath there. Just somewhere where they can eat. Perfect. All right, shut the door. We're donezo. The chickens are all the way down there. Let's go talk to them real quick. All right, girls and boy, you guys have some visitors. I want you to treat them with respect. They're here visiting. It won't be a permanent situation. Uh, I know you guys have been under attack a lot lately. Maybe, maybe this will help. Maybe these guys will keep the hawks from getting you. What do you say? You guys, you guys, huh? what? Oh, well, that's just perfect. That's not gonna work. Guys, we gotta figure out how to get that bird back in the... Maybe exercise program. Yep, it's time to get our exercise in. Let's play chicken chase. Hope you guys like your new home. I know it's not what you're used to, but I promise you will not be abused anymore. My poor little goat in the abusive situation that I have put you in. Especially you, girl. You are just a doll. Oh, them boys already caught that chicken already. <laughs> yeah, I see that, bud. Wow, that was quick. I was just gonna come over here and talk to you guys about uh, our meat birds and how they're doing. And they are getting big, but I figured they'd be working on that chicken for at least a couple minutes, at least 10. Man, some good boys, good work. These guys are getting plenty big. So my last video on these guys, I told you I was cutting one of those uh, eight inch pipes in half and that's exactly what we did. And or six inch pipes, should I say. And it's been working great for a feeder. Put a lot of straw and hay in there. It's been working really good. And these guys are growing fast. I figure I'd give you guys a little update on them real quick because, man, these guys are growing big. Way faster than the ones last year. I'm telling you that that feeding, this method of feeding and not using gravity feeders with meat birds, is a, it's a must. You can't use gravity feeders. They just will not eat it fast enough and grow. They will stay small. It will prolong their growing time. I, that's exactly what I ran into uh, last year when I tried to do these guys in six weeks. So, yep. Feeding this way, it's a must. Man, dude, you got that guy quick. He must be, it, it, I bet that chicken was like, it's just too hot for this. They're throwing back over the fence. It, it, ran, in, it ran into the fence and it ran into me and I just grabbed it and threw it over. <laughs> yep. Let's get our stuff cleaned up. Let's call it a day. It is too hot to be outside today, that is for sure. We'll see you in the next episode, guys. Thanks. <laughs>